Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with your weekend anomaly mission for the weekend of what is today's date? October 11th through the 13th. So uh, I have no idea what the mission is today. I have not cheated. I have not looked into seeing who else has done the weekend anomaly mission to see what it's all about. So I'm just going to be flying blind here and hope that you will all join me in getting the anomaly mission done. The sooner we get those done and get some of the other anomaly missions done, the quicker the uh, community rewards will become available to us. So by all means, let's get that taken care of, eh, folks? So let's see what we got in store for us today as we slowly zoom through the stars to find out where in the world my character has been left behind today. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to join me on October 19th. That's the following weekend on Saturday afternoon, evening, morning for you, for whoever, wherever you are in the world. Ah, I'm on an extreme sentinel planet, apparently. Um, and I'm looking around in this weird shape. There we go. Okay, we're in good shape. Ah, I know where I am. Anyway, October 19th at around 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S., I'm going to be having an anniversary uh, uh, anniversary special. And you may have seen the little short video, about a five-minute video I put out there for everybody to watch. It is going to be something interesting. Uh, some of the members are going to be joining us, and if there's some more room for other people, I will invite other people to play as well. We'll put out my friend code. We'll arrange it. It's going to take forever us to get forever as we get started to get everything set up and going. We'll have a Discord channel open for those who will be actually playing along with me so that we can all chatter and gab together and make fun of each other. Um, and we're going to be doing a no starter ship challenge. It's not going to be permadeath, though. That way we can keep playing and have fun making fun of each other. Um, and that's the biggest point of this. The whole point. The whole point. You keep hearing the word. Fun. We're going to just have fun. That's the whole point behind playing games, isn't it? We don't have to take it that seriously, do we? Speaking of taking things seriously, let's uh, go out to my ship and get up to that... Anomaly and uh, see what's going on with our mission for the day. All right. Off we go. All right. As we get into space here, we'll pull in the old anomaly and see what's a happening and see what Nada and Polo have in store for us for this weekend. And of course, uh, let's see, today being a Friday, I want to thank you folks. Uh, a couple days ago, we had a nice stream on a Wednesday night. It was a very nice uh, gathering and group of people. Had a great time. Uh, didn't really want to stream that night, did it anyway. Had a great time. Don't regret it at all. Because the No Man's Sky community is the greatest community. Yes, indeed. All right, let's move on. Uh, that's our Quicksilver vendor. We're going to ignore him heartily until we get everything done. Blue symbol indicates we have our anomaly mission. Let's see what it is. This is the Nexus mission. Exhuming the ancients, unearthing ancient bones. You know what we haven't seen in a while is gathering fecium, you know? Anyway, moving along, it uh, looks like we're going to get, if in my case, salvage data times four, and then 1800 Quicksilver. It's the Quicksilver we want because, man, I am running so low on Quicksilver these days. Let's go ahead and get this started. Initializing the mission, and let's go. All right. And we'll come back and we'll check things out in the anomaly, make sure we don't have everything, uh, anything that we left uh, behind to do. And as usual, leave the anomaly. And as we exit, it will throw us into hyperspace as usual and send us to, an, to a system of its choosing, usually in the Euclid system. The Euclid system is galaxy number one. It is the first galaxy that you will be introduced to and where you will exit said galaxy no matter how you end your run uh, through the Artemis mission line, you will end up in a second galaxy of your choosing. A lot of people choose uh, the Eisenton galaxy, galaxy 10, not 2, 10, uh, as your galaxy of choice. It tends to be a very peaceful galaxy, a lot of uh, paradise planets located there. Anyway. But there are 256 of said galaxies, 257 for those who know, actually. So here we are. We're going to have to find our planet. It's pointing us over here to this system. So we have a paradise planet right in front of us. And you know we're going to check that out in just a moment. This one is a nuclear planet. That's where we're going to find our ancient bones. Let's take a quick look-see at this one here. I am curious. Called Bush. I really hope that's its original name and someone didn't rename it. That would be kind of silly. 
Let's see. I don't see any floating islands. Ooh, red sky. Red sky planet. Nice. Uh, got the good usual vegetation on most paradise planets. I do not see a bubble atmosphere here. Checking out the water real quick. Water features look beautiful, of course. But being this is a red sky planet, it's going to be kind of strange. Um, not into red sky, but if it's your thing, I would say make yourself a base here, folks. All right, let's go to the bone-rich planet and get our mission done today. Off we go. It's one of my favorite ships that I have here, but I am going to try to find a new ship one of these days. All right. Now, you really don't have to come to the exact coordinates it's sending you to. As you can see, it just vanished. You just have to get to the target planet. So you can land anywhere you want, really, as long as you look for bones. Now, I'm going to come in on this planet real quick here. Ooh, blue water. Ah, wow. Weird atmosphere. This is kind of strange. I know it's a nuclear planet, but still pretty cool. All right. Looks like we got ourselves a building there. Let me see if there's a landing pad that we can utilize. If not, there might be one down here. Unless that's an abandoned building. I think that's abandoned. What do you think? Yeah, pretty sure it's abandoned. That's why there's no landing pad popping up. This one looks like it might have one, though. Nope, also abandoned. How weird. Two abandoned buildings back to back to each other there. So what we're looking for, we need to find some bones. And I could fly around forever and just look for uh, a nice pla place to select in order to uh, find a landing pad and all this nonsense. We'll try one more time here. If we don't find it, we'll just land. Nope, nothing there. So I'm just going to go ahead and land here anyway. And plop. There we go. All right. Looking out amongst this, we are looking for all these yellow symbols here. If you have a scanner on your uh, on your multi tool, mind mind you, you'd have to be really, really, really new and not have the scanner installed yet in order to not have this. The scanner it's looking for. You have an analysis visor, and then you have where is it? Here it is. This is your scanner over here, right there. There it is. Scanner. See, and you can scan things with this. So it can be uh, stored. You can un you can uninstall this if you wish. I don't recommend it though, because it's just a pain in the neck to get by with life in order to do so. So it looks like we got some bones over here, more than one, and it tells me I need to gather up twelve. So anytime it shows us these symbols, it shows us where the there's some. Looks like I got a thousand uh, some over there, about a thousand feet away, five hundred over here, uh, and more over there at eight hundred. So we got a few. And this points just to a few of them. So we need to go to our... Hold on. There it is. Terrain manipulator. Now I'm going to jetpack over there. Now if you've got some hazard protection for these planets, you're in good shape. Ooh, you'll notice that. Looks like we've got some animals that don't like us here. So looks like we're going to have to deal with those as well. So if you've got some weapons on your... On your multi-tool, good for you. That'll help you out a lot. If not, you can use your mining laser to get them to leave you alone. You can also feed them. That's another thing you can do. I think I have it set up to... Yep, okay, that was my feeding tablet there. So if they come up to you and they're going to attack you, use that to feed to uh, fend them off. Did I walk, walk right over it without looking? Hold on. Right there. Okay, yeah. It's a little higher up. I just got a little sidetracked here. All right, here we go. And it looks like in this spot we've got at least four. I'll go to a wider setting so we can clear this out a little quicker. And you can also do a flattening tool here if you want. There. And just flatten it all out in here. That way it gives you a little bit better purchase to get to the bones. These guys are the plain ones. They don't really give you a lot of money. Um... This is a little bit more special. There we go. Rare item there. 624 years old. Worth some money. This will be about the same. Not the purple one. 1,000 years old. That's about the maximum you're going to get out of those. And looks like another one that's rare. There we go. So we got three of the rare ones. And you see 652 again. So if we go in here to our inventory, these are going to be worth pretty good. 624... 
652, see about 600 and 500, right? You know, almost 500, that one's worth 637. This one is worth, even though it's a thousand, it's random, okay? How much money you're gonna get for these? And these guys are usually worth about, usually between like 80 to 120. That one's actually worth a pretty decent amount, you know, to be honest with you. Uh, let me recharge my, there we go. So we got some more over here, but it's directing us there. So 991. It says there's one right here. Hold on. Okay. It says that the target is in range. This is a glitch in No Man's Sky. Do not stay here. It will glitch out your game. So I don't know what happens here, but it thinks that this still the bones are still here for some reason, even though they're not. So do not pay any attention to that. That is a glitch. I have reloaded this entire game, so I know that my game is as up-to-date as it possibly can be. I uninstalled it and reinstalled it recently, so I know it's not me. Oh, there he is. I don't know what the guy looked like. That was the attacker. We're just going to run our way over here to these bones. I could take the ship if I wanted to, but this is more fun. And dodging the animals. Mwahaha. <laughs> Plenty of oxygen here. It looks like this planet also has copper, of course, uranium, obviously, and silver. So if there's anything else you want to get here, as well as gamma root for those weird um, recipes you need to get, there you go. So again, don't pay any attention to it telling you that there's more at the spot you were at. That is a glitch. It has been reported. Hopefully they'll get that fixed soon. Last time I uh, played this particular one where we gathered bones, it crashed the game, as you might remember. That was a few, two or three weeks ago. I'm not sure how long ago that was. Well, that one was. All right, here we go. What do we got here? Looks like we only have the one bone, so this is kind of a stark one that's not really giving us a lot. And it's also a rare one, it looks like. 715. Okay, so we're up to five. Now, there'll be more this way. Let me see, up there at 340, and another one over there at 750. Now, we can always call our ship in later. Let's get this one first. Again, once you've collected all the bones in an area, don't let it convince you that there's more, and keep digging. That tends to somehow crash the game. Third time I've mentioned it, I don't think I need to mention it again. Hey, buddy. So, in case you're wondering, you can fight these guys or drop a food pellet down. See? automatically becomes nice to you. So if you don't feel like killing the animals, if you're a pacifist, that's perfectly fine. There's a way to get them to quit, to leave you alone. And you can actually feed them directly if you wish as well. All right, but it looks like we got four more. Let's check. All right. So we got these little guys here. These aren't worth anything. Small amount. Three, and this one's a rare one again. Okay? All right. A little bigger, that's how you can tell. So, looks like we have one over here at 487. And it's trying to direct us back to our original one that we had back at our first site that we found. So, again, we're going to ignore that. So, once I find these, we only need three more bones at this point. Yes, it's like a never-ending jetpack. Don't make fun. You've been playing as long as I have. You have all the best upgrades. Jetpack lasts pretty much forever. My running lasts even longer. So, all right. Looks like we got at least two. All right. So we'll have to go after one more, regular one there. Haven't found the super rare ones, but yep, that's just a rare. There we go. Eight eighty four. That looks like it. I don't think there's any more here. You'd see it on your radar up above. So we need one more bone. One more. Now, there was one back where our ship is. So why don't we head back that direction? How far away are we? It says six minutes. You got a timer going, folks? I bet we can make it back quicker than that. Look at that timer drop. It's the way to do it. You can find animals on this planet if you wish, by the way. Looks like we got one of ten. That'll give you a nice bonus for your nanites. 
Just remember, you don't save game in this particular instance, okay? Whenever you're in one of these instances, it will not save your game. So be careful. You'll have to do it all over again. You saw that happen to me, I think, the last week it is when that happened to me. Game crashed and I had to do the whole thing all over again. Okay, let's go. How far away are we? See, dropping real quick now. Boink. I'll take care of that. Only takes 13 uranium to recharge your shield. Good planet to get your uranium from, obviously, right? So rather than calling in my ship, this is I'm just going to run back. I'm just checking it out because when I get back there, I'm going to be looking for the other deposit that was back that way. And since it was about 900 away, we'll fly the ship there this time. Think it's that way? Yeah, I don't think we're going to see it yet. we got to be closer to the ship. That was, uh, let me see, it said it would take six minutes to get back, and it literally took me a little over two. Well, not bad. I'd say we did pretty good, don't you? So there were some this way. There we go. That's the site we're going to head to. We just need one more bone, and we're all done. Right there. Maybe we can't just dig with our ship, right? Just go in? Wow, talking about just landing really far away. I was just ran here all together, huh? Alright, there we go. Looks like we got uh, about four more. I'm going to see if there's any rare ones here, but it doesn't look like it. Alright. Now, these are all the cheap ones, so it really doesn't make a difference which one we get. There's our twelfth bone. All right, so let's see what happens here and get moving. We're going to head back. It says to deliver them, so we're going to hit the C button to scan. And it will tell us that we got some Sentinels to worry about now, right? So we may have to fight some Sentinels when we get there. Oh, look at that. We may have to fight some ships. If you don't feel like fighting ships, just simply land there we go. We got it. Okay. Ooh. Well, guys, you're going to be in for a treat here. So I think we're going to use... Let's use Neutron Cannon today. I don't have it in the supercharged slot, so... Who's next? There was some other red dots out there. Where'd they go? Oh, there you are. Hi there. Gone. Alright. And you. And you? Oh, I see what's going on. We had a call-in unit over there, and he called in some extra units. Well, special treat for you guys. You get to see a battle. All right. So we're going to go to our multi-tool, and we're going to have a little bit of fun here. They're probably going to hit me a little bit while I'm doing this. Give me just a second. And there we go. I think 129,000 damage is good. There we go. How's that? Who's next? What level are we at? We're at level four. Let's see how fast we can get these guys gone. Huh? Oh, hi there. You're a little too far away, my friend. Okay, who's next? We got you, and we got one more over here. Call-in unit. We want to get rid of him. All right. 
he's gone. Let's wait for the next wave. Whoop, okay, what happened? Oh, they're already back? Or did I miss a wave? I think I missed a wave. Ah, maybe it's because of him. I thought I took him out and I didn't. Okay, anybody else? Now we got reinforcements coming. All right. So you don't have to do all this. I mean, this is just me. I, you know, guys know me. I like taking out a bunch of Sentinels whenever I feel like it, so. Ah, uh, good old Sentinel Walker. That's just surprising, isn't it, every time? There's a couple guys over here. I need to get rid of them first. Okay. I keep hitting my uh, reload button when I know that there isn't really a reload to, to do. I want to get the, the healing units because they can cause problems. So I can take out the legs if you want. So that's something you can do. If you want to take out the legs and get them to stop attacking you, you can do that. But you don't have to. You can literally just go straight at the head and just take them out. You'll see his shield's dropping anyway. And just keep going. And what I can do is take them out one more time and just go up here and do the coup de gras. If I said that right, I'm, if I said it incorrectly, please forgive me. There we go. He's gone. And crunch. As he lands on top of me and kills me, right? I'm gone. Sentinels are disabled, ladies and gentlemen. And in case anyone wants to know, let's just see real quick what the prize here is in our unit as far as our multi-tool is concerned. Uh, let's see what we get. A lousy little B-class <laughs> with a lot of broken areas. All right, so we don't have to worry about that. Logging out. All right, so we're done. Where's our ship at? And that's going to be my famous uh, last words, right? Make sure I didn't leave behind any good stuff, obviously. Any more? Any more? Looking for those, all those little gear boxes that float around over here. Like that one, I think. Now it's just damaged machinery, but it looks just like that. I think we got everything. Yeah, we did. All right, we're good. Let's head back to the ship. Okay, back to scanning. Yes, where is it? That way. So sometimes when you do the scan, it won't find anything. It'll tell you that the uh, sentinels are looking for you, but then it'll find this location. You can go straight there without any problems. Um... Then, occasionally, what you saw just happen right now can happen to you. I don't know what the odds are. I don't know what the percentage is that it could happen or not. So, I'll just let you know that in advance. That's not something I've ever studied. So, but here we go. There should be someone waiting for us right here. Yep, looks like there's someone sitting there waiting for us. It's a geck by the looks of things. There he is. The Gek asks no question, but simply holds out a hand expectantly. I get the sense an anonymized donation from Specialist Polo must be behind their willingness to assist. So we show them the samples. Mining Overseer Fla runs their eager hands over a number of the sampers, samples, can't talk anymore, before selecting one to scan, reluctantly returning the bones. They transmit the scan data directly into my suit, ready to deliver to the Nexus. Mission complete. We are now done. You get to keep the bones. And you can turn them in for money. So for those of you who are kind of aching for credits, great way to get a few extra credits. So take off from said planet, go back out into the stars, pull in the anomaly, return. So not bad. Fun mission, but as usual, you know, you get into the Sentinel battles and it's up to you if you can escape them, just run away real quick. If you're in your ship at the time when they're scanning, land as quick as possible and just simply run. Just run some distance away until the countdown timer ends, and then you're you're back to normal. Just go back to your ship, and you're all set. So you don't have to fight the Sentinels if you don't want to. Perfectly fine. Perfectly normal. Not in my book, but that's okay. Let's check out the rest of this, and we complete our mission. 
We now have our, cre our Quicksilver credited. We have some Ion batteries for some reason. That's interesting. So the reward changed to Ion batteries. I don't know how that happened, but it is what it is. That's perfectly fine. And our Quicksilver companion. We'll check our exotic items and see what we got. Looks like we're still waiting for Tier 1 to unlock. And it is at 76% right now. So we're getting a little slow here. But you know what? We've got a couple weeks left of the expedition. So my guess is that this is going to take a little bit of time. And they will finally start to increase in speed once we get closer to the end of the expedition. Now the expedition is going to end on a Monday. So starting this Monday there will be, I think, two weeks left? Could be wrong. I'm going to have to check that out. And then once the expedition ends, the weekend before that, the Saturday or Sunday, watch very carefully for a drop icon or uh, emoji, that is, from Sean Murray. Because a lot of us suspect he's going to drop Worlds 2 in the following week. Just a little hint there. Not saying it's going to happen, but so far his track record has proved that to be the case. Okay, and that's pretty much it here, folks. We're done with our uh, anomaly for the weekend anomaly a weekend anomaly mission for this weekend again october 11th through the 13th uh please hit that like button if you like what you've been hearing hit the subscribe button by the way if you go back to your ship and take off a little bit of a tidbit here and you really want to get back to where you came from all you have to do is leave the anomaly and it will throw you back into hyperspace as you can see and send you back where you came from usually you'll pop out near the space station which is what we're going to do and we'll go ahead and hit the space station and land and that's where we'll end this one. So again, I want to remind people, October 19th, not this particular Saturday, the following Saturday, we are going to have a special event. I'd really like to, as many of you to jump in. Um, at the very least, jump into the chat, sit, hang out, watch the uh, shenanigans that go on that day and that night. Um, we're just going to have some fun. Which means, since I'm going to be uh, streaming that Saturday, I probably will not be streaming this coming Wednesday. Keep that in mind. But watch for some more videos to come out. I look forward to doing some more for you guys. I got some other things I'm going to be uh, focusing on and maybe having some training videos as well. Some nice 101 videos. I think for No Man's Sky for some beginners. And if there's anybody out there has any questions, please drop them in the comment section. If you want to see something, hey, I've never seen this done. Can you do this? Hey, I would like to know. I have a question about how to do that. Ask. No harm in asking. Drop a message in. Everybody's wide open to drop in a comment. It is not limited to anybody. So drop a message in, and I'll see what I can do about, about accommodating you. All right, folks. Thank you again for watching. Again, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you like what you've been seeing. And if you want to join us in that um, No Starter Ship Challenge, you have to join the channel. So there's a join button underneath the, at my channel uh, page. Hit the join button. It's a buck ninety-nine a month. It doesn't cost that much at all, and you don't have to keep re rejoining every single month. You can let it expire if you wish. But we thank you very much, and I'll see you again in next weekend, I guess. Take care, everybody.